Trevor, I'm Jim Sieverts, and I am 62 years old. I'm from Portsmouth, New Hampshire. My name is Desmond. I'm 49. I'm from about 30 miles north of Lake Tahoe. Kevin McCann from Portsmouth, New Hampshire. And how old are you? 49. Well, 48, but I'll be 49. Pat Patton. I'm 57. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. My name is John Merritt. I'm 59 years old. I'm from Morgan, Utah. Good day. My name is Dr. Michael J. Staggs. I'm 60 years old and I'm from Monument, Colorado. Absolutely love it. It is so intense. It was actually way more intense than I thought it was going to be. Um, kiting and kiting and kiting every single day, starting from the basics and working through the skills. And uh, one thing about Dell, he expects excellence. And that's, that's really what I like about it the most is that he, uh, you know, he won't settle for um, less than the best and he definitely pushes you to be your best and there are no exceptions at all he, he's not uh, going to cut you any slack he's going to make you do what it takes to be the best that you can be and uh, it, it's been a really great experience if you're going to get trained uh, to do paraboatering this is the place i mean it is so intense be ready for a workout but when you're done you're going to know that you got the best training you can possibly get it was fantastic the disciplines that I learn about are things that are going to keep you from making a bad decision when the when the uh, excrement hits the fan, which inevitably it will. You want to make the the right decision. You train your brain here, and you and you make the right decision in that pinch situation. And it, it's kind of it's kind of scary to think how many people think that this is an instant gratification type of uh, sport. They think you give me a throttle, you give me a fan, you give me a motor, you give me a wing and I'm off and having fun. But uh, if you don't plant the seeds of learning, then don't expect to reap the harvest when you're in the whirlwind. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it's been quite the experience and uh, I'm glad I did it and I'm on my way. And so I recommend the training because you're gonna be glad you had it. How much is your life worth? It's not that expensive. And if you're watching this, you've already done the important thing. You found out where the correct information is. And that's at the super training. The thing is, they tweak you in every little way. They'll tell you you're doing a good job, but you can improve here. You can improve there. And it pays off so much. I felt so comfortable when I was flying. I was obviously a little nervous on my first two or three flights but after that i felt so secure and safe it's just an outstanding experience and i'm grateful for it so this is my second time in super training i came four years ago and loved it did probably about 30 35 flights um, waited uh, to get my wing in uh, september and then i bought my motor in january with the intention of coming down here and flying my own motor my own wing and uh, so I can go home and make this my new favorite hobby. And I achieved that goal. So some of the cool things, I think uh, making the adjustment from a bigger wing down to a smaller wing, it's, it's all about kiting, um, having the great conditions here at the beach, being able to uh, practice kiting literally anywhere from four to seven hours a day, um, really refines the skills so that when you're in the air and you're dropping sizes in kites, it really doesn't make that big of a difference because you're ready. So without that, extra time kiting I wouldn't have been ready. What was your experience with the instructors out here in super training? Awesome uh, anytime you wanted feedback they're right there they're making recommendations um, showing you progressively how to get better so you start with reverse kiting progressing to forward kiting then you're forward kiting and jumping keeping the brakes uh, the right level so it just a very good progression they didn't throw you into uncomfortable situations. They were there to coach you wherever you were to take you where you wanted to be. I recommend everyone do it. If you're, you like adventure, you like adrenaline, but you want to do it safely, you got to come to super training. I got to tell you, the super training is everything I expected and more. It's absolutely the awesomest way to do the ceremony. The only way. It's just so much skill that they drill into you day after day after day after day working hard but it's worth it because it, it makes you safe 
everything is super here. That's it. They're super helpful, super energetic, and it's just amazing. And it's it's right here. I, I truly am grateful. You got to do it. You got to do it. If you want a paramotor, you got to do it with super training, super Del Shanti. And what brought you out to super training today? Ah, I saw some YouTubes and I said, man, that is definitely for me, man. The exploration possibilities, the flying skills, and just had to do it. What made you choose super training over all the other schools? After researching it all, it just made sense. I'm an engineer and uh, if you got the wind here, you got the people training you can all, they're just they fly great, they kite great, and they give you incredible glider control skills before you ever uh, have to go to the, the real thing with the motor. And how many flights did you get out here at super training? I did about 30, right around 30 sometime, touch and goes, and by then you just got it, you know, and you're ready. Yeah, and how was your experience with uh, the class as a whole? Oh man, I hate to have to go home. I was telling Pat, oh man, gotta go back to the real world tomorrow, man. It's been so much fun. Ten days went by like blink of an eye. Yeah. <laughs> really. <laughs> uh, how was your experience with the uh, super instructors out here? Yeah, they can answer any question you got. They, got, they can show you anything you want. They've done it so much. They're so uh, professional and uh, helpful that uh, it's just top notch all the way. That's all I can say. Any words of advice for future paramotor pilots? If you want a paramotor, you need to come to this training. This is the right thing to do before you jump in and take off. It just makes sense, you know, there's too much riding on it. This is the place to be. And how has it been down here at Super Training? Uh, the weather has cooperated perfectly today. The instructors are highly skilled. Everybody has full camaraderie. It, it is just a joy to be here and to improve my skills by learning from people who learn, who know much better than I. But what made you come out to super training? What made me come out to super training is actually looking at all of the other training available. I did quite a bit of research. And when I did my research, I found that almost everyone who had trained with Del Chauncey was very pleased with the results. I'm here to say that they were correct. The instructors were spot on. Everyone is polite and professional. Uh, I learned tips and things that I had no clue about studying on my own and learning on my own. I had to learn as much as I could by myself. And I did learn how to kite, but I didn't really learn how to fly. Although I'd taken off before, I didn't know all the techniques. I was flaring too soon. I didn't weight shift properly. And in kiting, I didn't know how to kite in, in light wind. I didn't know how to kite in heavy wind. This has just probably been one of the best, uh, I, I, the best money I've spent, the best time I've spent in the last 10 to 15 years. I highly recommend this school for everyone interested in paramotoring. This is the best. Thank you, MJ. You're we appreciate those. Things. You're very welcome, sir. You're a great guy, Trevor. The whole family is fantastic. Dell's family is beautiful. And that's part of the experience. The way that people treat you here, all the camaraderie, it's just an elevating experience. Again, I highly recommend it. If you have the time, do it. Super training! That was yeah. day 10. We got everybody rocking. It is seriously fun to just watch people start horribly uncoordinated, left, right, right, left, yank and break, and then they finish just burning out these perfect foot drag to landing and just tearing it up and just making all the little pieces of glider control, glider drop, lean, walk, pull, lift, doing all the right things. It's really, really slick to see the huge, gigantic leaps in skill level progression that people go through at super training. So that's another super train at day 10. We totally got rocking uh, the biggest class in all of history. It's a new world record uh, with that many students and just funnest thing ever. As always, let's do it again. <laughs>